uranium ore specimen. Gamma dose rate measurement with the Radio Code 103 device. Measurement near the rock surface. Uranium-238 has a half-life of 4.468 billion years, which is nearly as long as Earth's age, that is, approximately 4.543 billion years. It undergoes a complex decay chain, emitting alpha and beta particles, as well as gamma radiation at various stages. This long decay series eventually leads to the stable isotope LEAD-206. Because uranium-238's half-life greatly exceeds that of its daughter nuclide radium-226, secular equilibrium is established between them in this ancient uranium or specimen. Among the radionuclides in the decay series, radium-226 is also a gamma emitter, characterized by a 186 kilo electron volts gamma ray emission, albeit at a low intensity, less than 4%. Radon-222, a radioactive gas, which accumulates in enclosed spaces that are poorly ventilated, is a decay product, in turn, of radium-226. Lead-214, a decay product of radon-222, also emits gamma rays, including prominent ones at 352 keV, 295 keV, and 242 keV. These three photo peaks will be readily observable in a gamma spectrum. Bismuth 214, a decay product of radon 222, also emits gamma rays, including prominent emissions at 609 keV, 1764 keV, 1120 keV, 1238 keV, and 2204 keV, among others of lower intensity. These photo peaks will be visible in a gamma spectrum, especially the 609 kilo electron volts peak. Lead 210, a long-lived decay product of radon 222, also emits gamma rays at 46.5 keV, albeit with low intensity, less than 5%. Radium-226 peak The radium-226 peak is not easily discernible due to the low intensity of its gamma rays, as well as because the interference from the gamma peak of uranium-235, which is also present in the rock. The three mentioned peaks of lead-214 The 609 kilo electron volts peak of bismuth 214, along with the three high energy peaks at 1120 keV, 1764.5 keV, and 2204 keV, are all readily detectable in the spectrum. Bismuth 214, 609 keV gamma peak. The gamma-emitting decay series of radium-226 is readily observable. A high-energy peak at 2204 keV is observed in the rock's gamma-ray spectrum. Subtracting the natural background radiation makes the observed peaks clearer and more detailed. The dose rate from the rock at this experimental position and distance was 0.46 microsievert per hour.
The subtraction of the background radiation spectrum reveals the lead 210 peak at 46 keV, which is the first notable peak of the radium 226 decay chain spectrum. The gamma radiation spectrum clearly indicates that the rock contains uranium, possibly an autunite mineral. Due to the low activity of the rock, and the fact that it was sealed within a plastic bag, no statistically significant increase in radon concentration in the room air was observed at the measurement site. Exposing the rock to UV light enables the visual identification of the most active areas on its surface.